Hello again. In a, an earlier video, I showed the world's first ever Elvis CDs, released in early 1984, um, made in Germany, and sold, it seems, around the world. Limited edition, and if you want to know the details, you can look up my video. Uh, limited edition numbered. So that was the first. That was then followed by Elvis's first album. And if you want to get the first ones, you look for this CD logo, and on the back you look at the reference number, which begins PD. That's what the disc looks like. <coughs> and these early booklets simply contained a track listing and then details on other RC CDs that were being released. And as I explained, these were made in Germany because there were very few manufacturing plants around the world that could produce CDs at the time. So the ones released in America were made in Japan. So the second disc was Elvis's second album. And the booklet on this contains the track listing. But also the notes from the cover. Now the next release seems a bit unusual. Of all the things they could have released, there are always 32 film hits. You would think there were far more important releases to have put out. And because of the way this was produced, there was nowhere to put a booklet. So it doesn't even come with any sort of uh, booklet. That seems a bit odd. Then we get back on course. So we have Gold Records Volume 1. And if you look down the bottom, restored to original mono, digitally remastered. So they did away with this horrible electronically reprocessed stereo. That was followed with volume two. And then volume five. I have to say thank you to David at uh, Elvis Vinyl in Japan. He spotted this for sale and tipped me off because this was the last one I needed of the 1984 releases. <coughs> Next came the collection volumes 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now what this is, is that gold box set, but the 60 tracks are divided up 15 on each volume. So there's volume 3, 4, 2, and 1. They all have the same sort of uh, design on the reverse covers. So there were two final releases in 1984. The first one being Rocker. And the last one 
you would think that the Elvis' first Christmas album would be the first Christmas release. But they came up with this. Merry Christmas. Nice cover. And this is a selection from the two Christmas albums. So those <clears throat> are all the UK CDs released in 1984. So uh, I've got a few to find for 1985, but I'll get there. I mentioned in an earlier video that I was pretty sure I had the Japanese 3 inch of mystery train. And in fact, here it is. Now it was designed <clears throat> so that you could uh, turn it into a um, three inch cover. This is actually designed to fold so that it's not um, that long. So that becomes the back, if you see what I mean, but uh, I never actually did it. So that's Mystery Train on 3 inch again. I've never played it, I've never played any of these 3 inch discs. I've got a feeling there are some more somewhere. But uh, I will find them. So <clears throat> that's it for this video. Until next time, bye for now.